Oh my god. Oh my god. This episode, man. This episode. Hold on. Let me let me regather myself. Oh my god. Yo, what is up guys? JRZ saying here and oh my god, this episode you heard me in the beginning. Oh my freaking god, this episode was so good. This episode was fu- fucking amazing. I'm sorry for my language. This episode was freaking amazing. Oh my lord. Okay. So let's get started with this. Let's get started with the episode. Okay, so, whew, my God, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, return to Ginyu. Ginyu returns, of course. <sighs> to go with. Whew. Okay, let me calm down. Ah, this got me real hyped up. Okay, so Togoma's powering up and is really cocky. Pickle over Togoma happens. Punch to the face, Togoma, and he doesn't get hit, and, and Togoma cuts Piccolo's arm off really violently. So that's how it starts off. Piccolo got lit up in the face and quickly grew his arm back, but Gohan is concerned. Super Gotenks appears out of nowhere and headbutts him in the freaking Dragon Balls. He, has, he, fucking, he headbutts him in the damn balls. Gotenks is extremely cocky after that, he, and he diffuses. Frieza lays his eyes on Goten trunks for the first time. Frieza sees Gotenks, the Saiyan from the damn future, and is pissed. Togoma's holding his balls. Frog Ginyu. Frog Ginyu is in front of Togoma. He writes change on the damn ground. He writes it out. The damn frog writes out change on the damn ground. Togoma reads it out loud, and that's how they switch bodies. That's how they fucking switch bodies. Oh my god. Ginyu is now in Togoma's damn body. Togoma does the damn Ginyu pose. Ginyu is in Togoma's body. Jacko then explains Ginyu to Goten and Trunks who start doing the poses. Who are all like, oh my god, those are badass poses. Oh my god. At this point, I'm freaking out. Ginyu has flashbacks to Planet Namek. And, oof. And, uh, yeah. Ginyu has flashbacks to Planet Namek and... And whatnot, and when he also has a flashback when uh, Trunks is a little kid, Trunks playing with the damn frog. I guess they didn't know it was Ginyu. So one thing is, how does Ginyu control the damn body if he couldn't even control Goku's body back in Planet Namek? That's crazy. Oof. So Ginyu powers up into Goma's body and just one shots the shit out of everyone. He completely one shots everyone. He punches everyone one shot, guys. One freaking shot. <sighs> this is freaking crazy. Bulma then runs to the damn spaceship and grabs the giant ice cream shit and is like, Oh my god, waste. Vegeta, get here. Go to the trunks, help. They're trying to help get him. So Beerus eating pizza. Goku and Vegeta are in some strange ass world. Like I said in my prediction, like a hyperbolic time chamber kind of thing. So Ginyu, and it, it goes on to Ginyu kicking Gohan's ass. Completely kicking his ass, throws him, key blasts the shit out of him. It, it's like amazing, amazing. Then Gohan, while he's getting hurt, goes to Super Sam for the first time in, in Super. Frieza sees. Uh, first, first Gohan beats the shit out of uh, Ginyu with one punch. Then Frieza sees this. Gohan is winning, of course. Frieza sees this, gets pissed off, has that flashback. Uh, G- Gohan kind of has like this uh, stance to where. Goku was telling uh, Frieza in Planet Namek when, Plan- when uh, Frieza was down, and he was telling him, like, don't get up, that kind of thing. I'm supposing, I, get, I do not understand Japanese, but that's what I'm supposing from the from the gesture, the flashback. So, Frieza gets freaking pissed off and starts and shots and shoots Gohan in the shoulder with his damn death beam. So, Frieza's remembering Namek. It was freaking crazy. Freaking crazy. Oh my god, so all that torching with Togoma, you can already know what's gonna happen next. This was, this was, I got sad when I saw this. Frieza starts torturing Gohan. He's death beaming him in the shoulder, in the leg, in the chest, every freaking where. He's about to finish him off. He's about, he's about to finish Gohan off. Frieza's about to finish him off with a final death beam. You know what happens? Do you know what fucking happens? Piccolo jumps in front of the damn death beam and he sacrifices himself like the good Namekian he is, like the savior of Gohan he is, and it, that's how the episode ends off, that is the freaking cliffhanger, I'm so pissed off, I, I don't want to wait another week for this guys, 
This is freaking crazy. Ah! Ah, it was an amazing episode. Super has picked up. It's freaking amazing. I'm going to leave off on this, guys. Hope you all have an amazing, blessed day. Watch the damn episode. You have to watch this episode in raw and in subtitles. Hope you all have an amazing, blessed day. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.